All right, folks, we're going to make this quick. Uh, just like when we were back here in September, uh, I was, well, I am rather sick, except back then it was allergies, and right now it's a pretty nasty stomach virus. So, we're, again, we're going to be pretty quick about this. So, uh, today is November 18th, and... Uh, I've delayed posting a scripting video so I could sort of talk and get an unscripted reaction to uh, whatever news is coming out about the Chris Chan trial, which was supposed to have its second hearing today after getting a continuance back in September. Uh, now, if you're unfamiliar, uh, Chris Chan, this lovely person here, he is an autistic trans woman who has had a complex legal history and a complex mental health history. Uh, the long and short of it is, right now, she stands accused of having sex with her mother, who may or may not have been able to consent to that relationship. Again, allegedly. So... No, I can't find any news reporting on it. Now, that's bitterly ironic because right now the Kyle Rittenhouse trial is going on, and I don't know how that's going to go, but I can't stop seeing coverage of it. Again, my bet on that one is that he's going to be acquitted. We'll see if I'm right about that. The only news that I was able to find was on the quickie, under the uh, prison saga entry. And you come down here, there is a footnote to a site that I cannot access uh, that says another continuance was granted and the next hearing will take place in the new year. Now well, that's the only information I have been able to find, but if it's true, let's give the same analysis I gave last time, which is that the trial will ultimately probably end in a plea bargain that will, I think, involve some kind of psychiatric uh, commitment. And that's really what, uh, what needs to happen. What I do want to talk about at length, well, greater length, is the fact that Chris Chan has been sending letters to jail. Uh, now, the interesting thing is that uh, the authors, you know, seem to have suggested that I'll, in one of the letters he kind of admits to having had relationships with his mother. Uh, and, you know, that goes against the right to remain silent, which is completely fair. And I'm surprised that the uh, lawyer hasn't uh, restricted his, you know, letter writing access. Uh, and I'm surprised the lawyer hasn't restricted Chris's letter writing access. But I think... That actually, like, I don't know anybody who reads these letters who doesn't think this makes him seem. I don't know anyone who hasn't read these letters who doesn't think, oh, this makes Chris seem even less sane than before. Um, if you told me that these letters, like Chris was instructed to, you know, write these letters as an attempt to prove his insanity. If you told me that Chris had been instructed to write these letters to prove Chris's lack of insanity, I would be inclined to believe you. Now, of course, that's not what happened. Um, I'm just saying, if... If you were trying to fake crazy, it would probably come close to these letters um, 
where, you know, Chris says that she is the reincarnation of Jesus. I mean, lots of people with delusion will think something like that, but you kind of just have to read your letters for yourself and, and uh, to perceive the sheer magnitude of disconnect. All right, that's it for now. Hopefully, we'll get more information in the coming days. Uh, I feel, I know this is a controversial take, but I feel just a tremendous sense of pity for Chris Chan. I know that she hasn't exactly made it easy for herself, but a lot of the bullying she's experienced is bullying that a lot of autistic people go through. And, uh, between the years of abuse from trolls and from her parents and the medical neglect, it's all just very sad. And, uh, I think part of disability rights is coming up with a more systemic policy of dealing with things like this before they get out of hand. All right. Well, I'm probably off to, uh, blow more chunks, but uh, I will uh, have a video for you probably the day before Thanksgiving, a scripted video that I recorded when I wasn't on death's door. And um, we will see each other after the holiday. Uh, have a happy Thanksgiving, folks. <laughs>